Hey YouTube, Mick here. Um, I've got two different canteen kidney shaped cups. One being aluminium, you know, with the handles like that. Very, very light. One being stainless steel, with a handle like this, and being quite a bit heavier. Um, now I'm just interested to know from you guys if you've had any bad experiences with aluminium cups um, I guess the main thing I want to know is it's safe to uh, to boil water out of um, you can see inside there it's got some uh, I don't know corrosion I guess you can call it uh, from me using it to boil and I'm not sure if uh, bits of aluminium are flaking off and I'm just a bit worried that I'm going to boil water I'm going to have bits of aluminium in there and then drink it and then with a whole heap of health problems so I don't know um, I'm not an expert on it so I appreciate your feedback if you could let me know is it safe to use an aluminium cup to boil water and drink out of it and and cook out of and all that kind of stuff uh, obviously stainless steel is going to be better but I'm just wanting to um, lighten up my my uh, water bottle and cook system in here um, <clears throat> It'll just give a few hundred grams of, of lightness, which, you know, it, it counts to me. So, um, yeah, please give me feedback. Um, now what I'm also going to do is just boil some water and test which which is quicker. I, I know for a fact this will be quicker, but I just want to see time-wise how quick that's going to be. So I'll come back, I'll set everything up, and I'll come back to you. All right, so I've got my metho stove out. <coughs> Put some metho in there, and I'll get this lit up with my fire still. Right, so she's lit. Now, uh, if you saw my video on my haversack, really checking the contents. I've added a little grill plate here because it it sits perfectly on there, and as you can see, if I if I put this on there, it doesn't really, you know, it's not sitting well. And you know, if I turn these, you know, it sits well, but then this becomes a little bit unstable. So I'd rather just put that grill plate like that. You know, sits it pretty securely. And then, um, you know, I can slap that on there with, with no worries about the thing tipping over. If, um, it wasn't that secure, hold on. There you go, that's better. Alright, so what I'll do, I'll fill this up with water and um, I'll come back to you when it's nearly boiling and I'll time it on my 511 watch on the stop stopwatch there. And uh, I'll just close this window so there's no wind. The only problem with an alcohol stove or, or metho stove is you need a windshield. And um, I'm actually going to buy, I'm thinking about buying the Vargo Titanium cook stove because it's got its own windshield really um, but yeah so anyway all right, I'll fill this up with a cup of water and I'll come back all right it's been uh, I've got it on countdown for five minutes and so now it's it would be three minutes it's coming up to three minutes soon I've got some bubbles forming there so it looks like it's going to come to a ball soon um, so it's working a lot quicker than them and the stainless steel one that I tested a while ago, that's three minutes now, and we'll watch just beeped. Um, now I know I can go out there and buy a titanium cup, which I'm going to get around to doing it, but you know, they are kind of expensive, and um, you know, I'm you know, got to watch every dollar these days because of bills and shit, but uh, I will eventually get one. But look, I've got this, it's been sitting around, and um, you know, I might as well use it. Now this is going to start come to a ball. Been three and a half minutes. You can hear it now. And I guess the good thing with aluminium, it will cool down a lot quicker than stainless steel. Um, so, yeah, that's another benefit there, I guess. But I am just concerned about the aluminium, um, you know, peeling off and getting those molecules in my system, which I know won't kill you but I don't know, I don't think it's good for you. Okay, it's four minutes.
And also, I'd like to get a lid for this eventually. Uh, the proper lids will come with it. I can use my aluminium foil, but I um, should make some sh sort of makeshift uh, lid for this. All right, so that's that's pretty much boiling, and that is. Well, I'll give it the full five minutes. So. Countdown. All right, that's five minutes. Right there. So, all right. So that's aluminium. Five minutes exactly to come to a roaring boil. I'll come back with the uh, stainless steel. All right. So I've poured some more metho in there just to give um, the same amount of of heat. Just to do the test. Uh, Equally, I guess. So I'll just try it again. how long that takes. I'll come back to yours. All right, I've got 20 seconds left on the five-minute test, and it's you know slowly coming to a boil. It might look like it's boiling in the camera there, but it's not a roaring boil, not the aluminium cup, but it's pretty close. It's a countdown. All right, it's five minutes there. So what I'll do is I'll just continue the stopwatch here. Alright. That is a boil, but not rolling boil like the aluminium. So let's see what happens here. That's pretty much the same. So the difference is five minutes and thirty seconds compared to five minutes exactly on that. So there you go. It's uh, pretty much the same. At the end of the day, same boiling time. Give it, give or take thirty seconds. Um, but yeah. So okay. So the boiling test, no major difference there. Um, it's just now comes down to uh, is aluminium um, better for you? It's hard to snuff out. Is aluminium better for you? I mean, not better for you, but is aluminium um, bad for you? Is aluminium bad for you um, to boil water in and drink out of? Um, if not, I'm going to go aluminium because it's, it's a whole lot lighter um, and, and see what happens until I get my titanium cup which I gotta look for a titanium kidney shaped cup I don't know where I can find that but I am in the market for uh, I mean I can put it around my Nalgene bottle but I'm in the market and I'm probably gonna buy that stain that Stanley <coughs> stainless steel 32 ounce bottle from Bushcraft Oz and with that I'll buy myself a titanium cup nesting cup for that so anyway that's my quick test uh, stainless steel versus aluminium please if you know, come back to me and let me know if aluminium's okay. Um, and if it is, then I'll probably rock and roll with that until I got my get my titanium cup. So cheers fellas. <laughs>